Hey everybody, it's Ryan here, and in this video I'm going to go over how I set up for a squat. All these things I've learned from watching lots of videos and listening to different podcasts of high-level powerlifters like Dan Green, Stan Efferding, Mark Bell, uh, all these guys that I listen to, and I've kind of adapted it to fit the way I like to do it, and hopefully you, you can take some pieces from it and uh, use it in your own training, or maybe coach someone to uh, squat better. <laughs> Sometimes when you unrack a bar to do a back squat, sometimes the weight feels a little heavier than it should, significantly heavier than, than it should, and a lot of that has to do with setup. I've noticed this, that sometimes the bar will feel ridiculously heavy. It could be only 300 pounds, only 300 pounds, it's still heavy, but it sometimes feel like it feels like 400 pounds, or just not in the right spot, which makes it significantly heavier. So in this video, I'm going to go over kind of how to set yourself up for a squat and kind of one method that has been working for me pretty well. Now, what I do is I set myself up so that when I get underneath the bar, I slide myself past the point in which I'm going to place the bar. So it's maybe in the middle of my shoulder blades, maybe the top half of my shoulder blades. That's not where I'm going to put the bar. And then what I do with my arms on my back is what I do is I slide the bar up towards my rear delt so that way I create sort of a wedging effect between my shoulder blades and my arms. That way I have my shoulder blades very pinched tightly. Then after I do that, I press into the bar a little bit harder so that way I have about maybe 50% of the force required to unrack the weight. So it's almost like I'm preloading my body. So if there's 300 pounds on the bar for a squat, I'm going to be pushing up 150 pounds. Hope that makes sense. And then what I do is I position my hips. I usually do a posterior anterior tilt to get my hips in neutral. I squeeze my glutes, take a deep breath, unrack, and then begin the squat. So these ideas for setting up a for a heavy squat I got from uh, Dan Green. Actually, Sam Bird and Dan Green, because Dan Green mentioned that he set, set us up similar to uh, to Sam Bird. And if uh, I'll, I'll leave two links in the video description. Of some squatting sessions of Sam Bird is pretty crazy. Uh, fucking 220 pounds, like squats 825 pounds. It's ridiculous. It looks like he's gonna die squatting because it's shit's so heavy. And he's, you know, he's not he's not like Eric Lillibridge or like he's like you know almost 300 pounds to 270. You know, Sam Bird's only 220. But what I wanted to say was that if you see Sam Bird set up for the squat, he actually he wedges himself in there very very tight. And I'll put a link in here. Uh, maybe I'll have a video playing of him so that way you can kind of see how he sets up. But he sets up in there pretty fucking tight. I mean, he's like, that thing is like, he's locked in solid. And then another thing that kind of comes to mind when I think about squatting every single time, especially for heavy weight, is I think about what Dan Green said at the seminar. He said he sets up for a squat so tight in his shoulders that if he were to move his hand, his shoulders would cramp. So he, he's so wedged in there. He's so, so tight. So that's kind of what... I learned this kind of, I, and this method that I just showed you is kind of, I adapted it towards kind of what fits for me, uh, for my style for setting up. And you can see that it took me a little bit longer to set up. I really took my time because I still feel like I don't have it in the right spot all the time because my shoulders are so tight. So anyways, if this video helped you, if you like this video, please click like. If you like content like this, leave a comment below and I'll make more stuff like this. So anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.